Hey guys, today I want to take a look at the RAIN 4 DJ controller. I had a RAIN MP25 DJ mixer many years ago, and it was one of my favorite mixers ever. Before controllers kind of took over and we were using DJ mixers, the MP25 was one of my all-time favorites. I've always liked RAIN products. When controllers kind of started hitting the scene, it's my understanding that RAIN said they had no intention of making a DJ controller. Well, something changed somewhere along the way, and they made the RAIN 1, which was their first foray into the uh, Serato DJ controller world. The RAIN 1 has motorized platters. A lot of people loved it. Some people like me did not. I'm not a fan of the weight and the size being a wedding DJ and not really doing anything vinyl-esque, if you will. I had no need for the motorized platters. I actually had a RAIN 1 for all of a hot minute and sent it back because it was too heavy and bulky for me and my needs. Well, when the RAIN 4 first came out, I didn't really take a serious look at it because I didn't realize that they had removed the motorized platters. I didn't realize that this was a lighter controller. So that one kind of snuck by me. Then I got word about the Rain Performer and how they were basically taking the Rain 4 and adding back the motorized platters. And I went, wait a minute, are you telling me the Rain 4 didn't have motorized platters? Well, learning that, I got real curious. So I got my hands on one and we're gonna take a look at it right now. And there's the Rain 4 in my DJ console, which uh, fits in beautifully. It's a little bit, uh, wider than the Flex 10, and I think it's a little less deep going this way front to back. If It's pretty close, but I think there's a little more wiggle room on this. Speaking of the Flex 10, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you I'm coming from the uh, FLX 10 or Flex 10 into the Rain 4, so I know a lot of people are going to ask how they compare because they're two of the leading controllers on the market right now. Well, they're both great controllers. I feel that the Flex 10 is more geared towards the record box, but you can use it for Serato, where the Rain 4 is a full-blown, spot-on Serato controller. You can also use it with Virtual DJ. Um, for me, I guess a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Nothing against Pioneer. I don't dislike that controller, but as a Serato guy, for some reason, I always end up back on Serato. I just love the program. It feels like home, and this controller was built for Serato and stems. All right, for those that don't know what stems are, for my non-DJ friends that are watching this, uh, stems is where you separate a track into four parts or three, depending on the controller. Um, and that would be vocal, instrumental, bass, and drums. And what happens with this controller is they gave you three different ways to utilize stems. The first being dedicated pads. So you've got you know your separation. You can press each one to add or take away uh, what part of stems you want. It also has a nice little LCD readout. And these bottom four pads are effects pads. So you've got drums and then it says drums echo. So when you take out the drums and add the drums, you can hit that and it'll, it'll make the drums echo out. So it's got some effects built in as well. So that's one way to utilize stems. The other way is with your acapella and instrumental dedicated buttons. So you've got one on each side for deck one and two. So you wanna go acapella, you just go like that. All the instruments go away. You wanna do an instrumental, just the opposite. And a third way that they utilize stems, and before I mention that, let me talk about the channels. All right, so we have a, a four-channel controller here. I've always been a two-channel guy. The only time I really utilize um, an extra channel is if I plug a separate audio source into the mixer, and which is good. It's cool to have that. Backup's always good, right? But for this controller, having it be a four-channel controller is amazing in the way that they utilize stems with it. And what they did is they created something called Stem Split. So channel two is your vocal, channel four is your instrumental. So these are two and four here. So when they split, when you press that split button, you can control your vocals or instrumental to get different levels on that. Or if you need a quick, let's say somebody's singing something, you don't want to reach over and look for a button. And when they're singing along, you know, it's like, hey, hey, you can bring down the vocal and they can go, hey, hey, you know, obviously shout, uh, things like that. But it gives you the ability to uh, control the tracks separately like that with that stem split. Kind of a game changer in my opinion. I'm really looking forward to messing around with that uh, in depth. Uh, one thing, another comparison between this and the uh, Flex 10. I don't want to slam on Pioneer, but I will say that it's a fingerprint magnet. They use a shiny black plastic surface on their last few controllers. I don't know why because on the Pioneer, when you go like this and you lift up, you got a big old smudge fingerprint on there. It's a very... Uh, it quickly takes fingerprints and dust and just gets all over the place. So I was putting skins on my more recent uh, Pioneer controllers. With this, though, I can push all over the place. 
there's no fingerprints. I'm sure over time you'll get some, but they'll wipe off a lot easier. The surface is uh, more of a matte finish. This is an all-metal construction, by the way. Very sturdy, very well-built controller. The knobs are fantastic. They're rubber-coated. They've got a great feel to them. Um, you've got your paddle effects. I haven't really delved into those yet, but I'm going to. You've got a little menu there where you can go in and uh, change some settings on the controller, which is always cool. Uh, one of them, which is really cool, let me mention, touch on that real quick. It's got a talk over level adjust. So for a lot of DJs, when you do talk over on a microphone, I I kind of quit doing talk over because talk over often ducks the music so far that you barely hear the music and then the DJ's all, bruh, 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 you know. So with talk over level adjust, you can find what works with your voice and you can have it where your voice is just above the music where they can still hear the music and hear you at the same time. It doesn't take the music and go and knock it way down. So that's a cool feature. Um, all in all, I just got to say A+, plus, two thumbs up. I love this controller. I'm going to switch to this controller starting this Friday at a wedding, and I can't wait to get out there and use it. All right, you know the drill. Like, subscribe if you would. That's always appreciated. If you have any questions, post them below, and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. Rain 4, fantastic controller. Um, if I was going to use Record Box, I'd stick with the Flex 10. But again, being a Serato guy, this is the best Serato controller I've ever touched. It's fantastic. It sounds great. It looks great. Um, I can't recommend it enough. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I'm Mike Sinclair. Now you hear me. Now you...